already in this video. We'll be assembling an audio amplifier. I bought this on AliExpress.com. It's basically a small audio amplifier from my FPV ground station. And basically, you get this uh, a plastic bag with all the components you need and the uh, PCB. And uh, right now, what I'll do is I'll assemble this and uh, see if it works then. Some of the components will be out as I'm going to be using this on my FPV ground station. I'm not going to use these one. I'll connect straight wires. This would connect here. And so, this one, you see, it would connect here. But I'll simply use the pins to which it would be attached considering that I'm not gonna use um, this kind this type of connector inside the ground station I mean I could use it but it would give me a bit more trouble so I'll just use the negative one and the positive one, which is basically the same, to connect audio. And, uh, as you can see, here I have all the parts I need. They supply it. They supply everything. And let's start the build process. Solder here. PCB just would be nice to have a piece of cardboard underneath it. So, first thing I'm going to do this is the one thousand. UF capacitor and this one goes here positive leg which is the longest one here negative leg here so we'll have something like this let me just pick up my pliers This is melting already. Clean it. Clean the tip on my welding iron. And uh, as soon as we have a clean tip, we can start welding. So, let's try and make this quick. Okay, one's done. Second is done. Main capacitor is, is in. Now we're gonna go for the 100 UF, which goes here. So we're gonna put it in 100 negative leg on this side. Open up a little bit to keep it in place and apply some solder.
Okay, so now we can cut the ends of this. Because they're gonna start getting in the way of what we're doing. So it's better to cut them. Now we're gonna go for the smallest capacitor which is a a ten go on focus which is a ten UF How does it say? It says here 10 UF, and that one is gonna go uh, 10 UF is gonna go here. It's gonna go here next to the big one. This. This keep it in place. And let's solder this one. Trying to keep a nice clean tip so that the welding process is easy to do. Okay, let's cut these ones out. Now we're gonna go for the, the support for the LM386 microchip which is gonna be the brain of everything so that will go about here in the middle and we'll put it in like this side facing down And simply start soldering. This is done. As you can see now, we have this done. Let's go for the next step, which will be the four. K resistor. We have two which are the same. 4K7 and we have one which is 
four R seven, four K seven, four R seven. So two which are the same must be these ones. These have no polarity. Simply. These are gonna go one's gonna go here and the other one is gonna go here so put this one in and I'll put the other one in as well Resistors, and then we have one which is a resistor 10, which is 4R7, and this is gonna go here, and this space here. Maybe this is not very clear, but... That's the best I can do with these tiny little... ...things. I'm not gonna put this one yet. This is becoming pretty much a symbol, quicker than I thought. Now we have here C5C104, C5, these legs are pretty much the same so I think there is no polarity on these ones because the legs are pretty much the same size and everything else had longer legs on oh, we'll install the microchip Yep, microchip installed. It's just but this one here. And this one here.
all the doors do as well. Those two are done. Let's cut the legs. And we are gonna then we are gonna screw the lid this is gonna be solder here. Just cut the extra long legs. For this knob, instead of placing it here, because then, then it would be a bit hard to place it inside my FPV box my FPV ground station box so what I'll do is instead of placing this here right now instead of doing this soldering the thing here what I'll do is I'll um, I'll simply Put three wires here and make this longer. Make it like this a bit longer so that I can move this inside the box and have it wherever yeah, wherever I want. So there's only one resistor, one resistor left for soldering, and a few pins. So this resistor goes here. And this one is a bit weird because its legs are long, man. Gonna have to put it facing up. Yeah, that's how it goes. So, probably you can see what I'm doing, but so then this one.
Do you know what? The tip of my welding iron is ruined. But that's what I have right now. So that's what I have to deal with. Okay. Now two pins. Two pins here for five to twelve volts in. This piece I'm not gonna be connecting because this was for for power like this. I'm not gonna power the thing with this connector. I'm gonna power it straight with two wires. Okay. Two wires here, so I'm gonna use two pins. I'm not gonna use this one as well as I told you. This will be sound in and sound port here, which is out, and we'll see how it works. Let me just cut here some pins. Two pins for the sound port here. Mm, yep. Running out of solder. No, what if I use? two pieces of wire instead of two pins I think I could do that like this I can plug it pretty with connectors but this is going to be inside the box I think I'll use wire yeah that will be that will do the same. So let me just get two pieces of wire and we'll get this done. in the tip moment mm -mm. just a moment and here we have the wire for the power and for and for the audio
So we'll, we're soldering the wires for the power. Decided to use wires and instead of decided to use wires instead of connectors area the wires solder and we'll cut what's left because we don't need all this here it's not doing anything both wires to the same length. Here we go, we already have power wires. We're gonna go f two wires for the sound port. So let's go so port that's red in one side. Yellow's gonna go for the other side. Okay, we have wires for power and we have wires for audio port. Now we're just gonna put another two here for audio in. And again, we'll use 
red and yellow. Red in the middle. Okay, I know that. I know that right now you don't see anything what I'm doing, but this is so small that being alone with a fixed camera recording this is not easy. So sorry about that. You get the idea. Last but not least, yellow. As far as I can see, all wires are done. We've got wires for audio in, we've got wires for power, and we've got wires for audio out. Now, only three for this. You could put it like this, but... Am I going to place it inside my FPV box? Let me see. Let me just see. Well, this is my FPV ground station, and uh, if I could place it like this, but it's not possible, I'll have to put some wire coming from that, and then this will have to stay about here, or here on this side, the volume knob. I won't really be able to... I won't really be able to put it, to install it here, cause then I wouldn't be able to close the to close the damn thing. I'm gonna have to place it somewhere. and then just cover it yeah. well this is more or less finished thing uh, I'm just gonna this is more or less the finished thing I'm just gonna put three wires to connect this one to keep it away and we'll test it here I have the ground station pretty much assembled. 
all the wiring is done here is the audio amplifier and everything is connected now I'll just close the box and see if it works